Good evening. Good evening to all. Dear students, am I audible? Hi, Rajiv Kumar Ranjan. Good evening. Sumanatha, good evening. Yeah, can someone tell me am I audible or not? Yes, student. Yes, audible. Okay, right. So we'll start the session. We'll start the session, dear students. Nice to see you. Hi, Hindra Bhati. Namaste. Suma Chaitra. Namaste. Abhishek Chawan. Namaste. How are you, Abhishek Chawan from Mechanical Branch? Welcome, welcome. Rajiv Kumar Ranjan. Welcome. Yeah, nice to see you, all of you. Nice to see all of you. You can chat there. You can you can give your comments over there. A happy evening to one and all. Happy evening to one and all. Thank you. Thank you, Chaitra. Thank you. Chalo. I'm starting the session. Yeah, this is Durishetti Satish Kumar. This is Durishetti. You can call me as Durishetti or you can call me Satish Kumar. I am from Hyderabad. I have 10 years of experience in the field of GATE and ESC. In the field of GATE and ESC and total 13 years of teaching experience and I'm proud to say that I'm ex-faculty of ACE Engineering Academy, very great institute. Okay, so there I worked for many subjects. I taught over there and have good interaction with many rankers and many students. Many rankers and many students. Hello, hello Akhil, hello Akhil. So the subjects I handle are sensors and industrial instrumentation optical instrumentation process control instrumentation these are for gate instrumentation these are for gate instrumentation so here i want to uh, talk about some points over there so the subjects actually the subjects i handle the subjects i handle are microprocessors yeah listen carefully Microprocessors, and microcontrollers, microprocessors and microcontrollers. In addition to this, I will start instrumentation subjects like sensors, sensors, optical, and there is one good subject now I am starting that is Mechatronics. Hello, Rohit. Hello, Namaste. Rajiv, sir. Namaste. 
राजीव कुमार रंजन नमस्ते या लीजन लीजन सो दिस इज मेकाट्रोनिक सब्जेक्ट विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आई एस मेकानिकल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आई एस मेकानिकल एंड दिस इज फॉर ईसीई दिस इज फॉर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन now the subject mechatronics which is introduced for is mechanical is a combination of these two ec and instrumentation so first of all let me explain what is mechatronics what is mechatronics what how to understand the subject mechatronics simply speaking mechatronics is a combination of mechanical and electronics simply speaking mechatronics is a combination of it is a combination of mechanical and electronics of course it is a combination of many subjects see this slide mechatronics is the combination of first mechanical systems electronic systems there are so many subjects actually but in broadly we can call it as a combination of mechanical and electronics mechanical and electronics together that gives me mechatronics mechatronics actually the purpose of mechatronics is what the purpose of mechatronics is what here we are going to we are going to sense something the purpose of something suppose if we consider a process the yes, students listen carefully why this subject has been introduced for mechanical engineering student why this subject has been introduced for mechanical engineering students there is a process in the process there is one parameter called temperature so we know for example we can take the power plant power plant may be temperature hai there is a boiler inside the boiler there is a temperature in our room also we have a temperature but measuring the room temperature or sensing the room temperature is different from sensing the boiler temperature right sensing the room temperature ordinary thermometer is enough but with the same thermometer if you go into the boiler you won't come back and your thermometer also won't come back so there should be some different sensing mechanisms to measure the high temperature yes or not raji sometimes suppose in our electrical labs to measure the speed of a shaft a rotary shaft a speed of a turbine or a speed of a shaft generally we are using tachometer but in power plants there is a big turbine the big blade structure made by steel and the steam or water jet is touching the turbine and the turbine will be rotating there you are standing with tachometer like this you and your tachometer will be rotating on the turbine itself so when it comes to industry mechanical industries we should design safety systems yes or no we should design such a safety systems and we should reduce the manual intervention as a technology goes i mohit welcome as a technology grows we have to reduce the manual intervention and we have to introduce the the automation so this subject is actually came from the concept of the subject came from the concept of automation so first what i am doing i am taking a sensor this particular sensor will take this temperature and will convert into some suitable form then i am giving to some program some signal conditioning from signal conditioning i am giving to some programming device after programming device i am giving some action to the actuator actuator like this i am able to control the process so when it comes to the point here for mechanical student the subjects are entirely new so simply speaking the subject is combination of sense program and actuate sensor sense something following indrabati 
program something and finally actuate something following chaitra vital mohit sachin hi sachin good evening nice to see you yeah see for example that's why it introduced so many combinations there is some mechanical concepts are there control system concepts are there electronic system concepts are there your mechanical cad cam concepts are there and ultimately computer concepts also there so the extreme of every engineering is the extreme of every disciplinary is nothing but a new branch of engineering the extreme of mechanical branch is electronics the extreme of electronics will become digital so that's what the trend today is yes or not so in btech first year you will study the basic subjects like physics maths when it comes to btech second year you slowly start introduction of your mechanical subjects in btech third year second year you will cover all the basic subjects like fluid mechanics strength of materials theory of machines theory of vibrations production material science right or not but by the time you come to the fourth year that is a time where you are entering into the industry after fourth year you are going back to the industry going to the industry so when it comes to the industry industry always does not start from mathematics just like you have started your btech journey with physics just like you have started your btech journey with hello program hello world or just like you have started your btech with lathe machine your industry will not start from there industry already grown up industry is already having so many automation tools so there is a lot of gap between the btech subjects and what actually industry needs that's why some advanced subjects like in the field of electronics in the field of digital in the field of mechanical also advanced subjects are necessary otherwise the students cannot survive in the industrial environment for example when it comes to ec student electronic communication students they will be studying the conventional communication technologies like analog communication digital communication but today in the market we are using the fiber optic communication am i right or not am i right or not today in the market we are using fiber optic communication there is an advance so in the btech they will be studying the small programming but when it comes to the outside they have to study the intel microprocessor chip big programming the same thing with other subject also you will start computer science with the c language but right now in the market python machine learning artificial intelligence there is a lot of gap or not a student btech fourth year who has studied all the fundamental subjects but when he goes to the industry suddenly there is a new environment in the new environment he has to go through artificial intelligence machine learning robotics sensors lot of confusion with respect to student mindset that's why all the universities have introduced this subject in their btech curriculum the upsc syllabus we are here on an academy to teach mechatronics and robotics under the upsc syllabus union public service commission of indian engineering service engineering service examination for mechanical branch they have introduced this is the introductory part happened in 2016 i think some, some 2017 onwards 2017 onwards the subject was introduced before that the subject was not there my dear aspirants now i am going to discuss with respect to esc mechanical part of it what is the subject what we have to study and what are the various topics that are under the subject okay is it really tough for a mechanical student to understand electronics most of all the students will think that it is always over we have to study for strength of materials production fine uh, fluid mechanics one two three all the subjects are over then we will go for the subject but dear students before thinking like this or before taking a decision like that one second please go through this weightage if you go through this weightage you can understand mechanical engineering esc mains paper if you analyze if you analyze the mains paper i'm sorry this this slide if you see the mains paper dear mechanical student mechatronics and robotics subject
mechatronics and robotic subject is the second highest weightage after your machines and mechanisms am i right or not it is a second highest weightage how can you neglect the subject which is having second weightage second highest weightage a subject which is not much studied in btech and the subject is not also there in the gate it is not in gate not in gate am i right the subject is not in the gate exam also now how to approach this subject how to approach this subject and he cannot neglect if you see one second almost this weightage is equal to strength of materials its weight is equal to design of machine elements man it is it, its weightage is more than production this weightage is more than industrial and maintenance engineering as yes all then we cannot neglect this subject and those who really planning their career in well established industries definitely they should go and everything today is going towards robotics in every production system also to reduce the possibilities of error by using sensor electronically feedback mechanism very good excellent sachin what you said is correct the industries which were established in the 70s and 60s today they are completely becoming automation today the cars manufacturing company pencils manufacturing company and the cookies biscuits manufacturing company bread manufacturing company even the cigarette manufacturing company paper manufacturing company cement manufacturing company every manufacturing company for the nook and corner of industry needs automation needs automation needs automation dear students remember that it needs automation so what is automation let us go through so before neglecting this before going to the subject once again as people are preparing clear hai sir ji yes you cannot neglect yes or no and dear students dear aspirants don't think that upsc will ask the questions upsc will ask the questions based upon your interest sir humko fluid mechanics interest hai sir usme se questions aayega sir usme se zyada questions aayega don't think like that upsc will not ask the questions based upon your interest upsc will ask the questions based upon the syllabus if the syllabus is framed then definitely the syllabus has to be justified so these are the rank deciding parameters dear aspirants of mechanical once you see this slide if you see this slide you cannot neglect any subject not only my mechatronic subject i am telling any subject you cannot neglect each and every subject is equal in importance every faculty will be boosting their subject but remember the truth is each and every subject as equivalent as each and every subject mathematics is important if you see if you see the slide mechanical engineering students the qualifying cut off for prelims is 240 to 250 i am taking the general i am taking the general i think all of you know in prelims we are having the subjects general studies is there or not general studies is there or not yeah in prelims we are having material science subject also material science subject also in prelims we are having I yeah, don't mind. Sometimes this uh, digital pen, that uh, pointer may not be visible for me, so I will be searching here and there. Don't mind. So why sorry is looking like that. So next thing, mechatronics and robotics. Mechatronics and robotics. Do you know? Almost these three subjects will play equal weightage. One of most important sector of mechanical engineering, refrigeration and air conditioning, is incomplete with mechatronics nowadays. Excellent, Sachin. Super. Yes. our refrigeration our air condition these all are without combination of mechanical and electronics we cannot do anything am i right or not sachin yeah so these three subjects will play almost in prelims they are having good weightage in prelims they are having good weightage mechatronics and robotics material science and general studies so those who are seriously planning for the ranks they cannot neglect this subject now let us come to the syllabus dear students this is a syllabus if you watch the syllabus the syllabus starts with microprocessors microcontrollers all of you are there rajiv kumar are you able to see the syllabus 
All of you are able to see the syllabus. Anybody from ECE here? Anybody from instrumentation here? Yeah, ECE students, instrumentation students also, they can see their syllabus. If you see this microprocessors, microcontrollers, yes or no? So this is completely EC syllabus, electronics and communication. If you see these sensors, EC sir, yeah. If you see this is EC syllabus or not, microprocess, microcontrollers. So in this syllabus, they are asking the questions from 8085 and 8051. Those who have studied ECE, they know 8085 is a microprocessor chip, 8051 is a microcontroller chip. I will explain that later. Sir, what is this microprocessor microcontroller? What is this? I think it is not the correct way of starting the subject. The correct way of starting the subject is from sensors. Sensors is the first part. In the real nature, we have to sense something first. There is a temperature to be sensed. There is a pressure to be sensed. And there are various sensors on there. It's a very excellent branch. I'm proud to say from instrumentation point of view. It's a core branch of instrumentation. Instrumentation branch is a combination of all subjects. From that particular branch, people don't know. Conventional people, now the, everything is a sensors. Everybody in the lifetime, they will come across a sensor. If you go to the airport, there is a sensor to open the door. If you go to a metro station, there is a sensor to identify your ticket. If you go to an ATM machine, there is a sensor to identify your PIN code. Am I right or not? Why are you so much? In our TV remote, there is a sensor in our air conditioner. There is a sensor in our mobile. There is a sensor in our mobile. There is a GPS system we all use. Without sensors, without mobiles, without computers, there is no life in today's life. Pura, um, we are pura surrounded by sensors. Everywhere sensors, sensors, sensors. Our pura life itself is sensing something. In the syllabus, he has given one beautiful thing, piezoelectric accelerometer. Dear student, just for a sample, just for a sample, I want to explain what is that piezoelectric, what is that piezoelectric, just I want to explain you. Just I want to explain you what is that sensor. The piezoelectric sensor, piezoelectric sensor converts, piezo is a Greek word that converts stress to voltage. Simply speaking, it converts stress to voltage. Yes, temperature gun on thermal scanning of corona detection. Excellent. Sachin, that is also a sensor. Piezoelectric sensor converts stress to voltage. Dear students, when you go to the lift elevator, there you are pressing a push button. There you are pressing a push button. That push button, when you press, there is a glow or not. Am I right or not? In our cricket, when the ball is hit to the stumps, there is a bells are glowing or not. Our kitchen mein gas lighter hai na, gas lighter, wo gas lighter humko stress kiya, usme se ek spark aar hai, that spark is touching the butane gas, then there is a flame or not. Ye kya ho raha hai? Ye stress converted to voltage beta. So what is stress? Everybody knows stress, mechanical people, everybody knows that. Stress is force per area. So there are certain crystals like quartz. There are certain crystals like quartz. So those crystals will convert stress to voltage. Here, for your convenience, I have kept a I think now all of you are ready. I'm showing some animation. See this.
dear students you understand what i have shown to you what is that can anybody say can any mechanical student can tell that can any mechanical student can tell that what is the previous picture i have shown to you the previous video which i have shown you can anybody say there sachin sham babu indrabati can anybody say that what is that which i have shown to you can anybody type there what i have shown to you it is nothing but a drilling right yeah and if you are able to see now once again i am playing one more video just go through that and if you are there can you show me the thumbs there riyaj sachin yeah Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, it. Yeah. Now I am showing one more thing. See this. Please respond. Are you able to see that? See, there is a display here. There is a pointer is rotating here. I think all of you see there is electrical voltage. This electrical voltage. So here I am applying the stress. Here the stress is applied on the crystal. The stress is converted to electrical signal. That is what our mechatronics. The mechanical stress is converted to electronic signal. There are so many applications for mechanical engineering students. They know very well where the force comes, where the stress comes. That is a phase electric crystal. Now, once again, I am showing this picture. And if you try to see, this is what we are using the drilling. Sachin, Mohit, this is what we are using in the drilling. It is also used in our root canal operation. Once again, please go through this. See, this is how the metal cutting is happening. It is making the drilling. I think all of you know this particular concept. These you have studied in the FISO. I think in the subject of uh, production, you could have studied. In the subject of production, you could have studied or not. See how it is cutting. A small tiny object. A small tiny object. When it is going and cutting. Yes or not? So it is making layer, layer by layer, layer by layer. The material is cutting or not? All of you are able to see this or not? Yes, sir. So this is one sample. This is one sample beta. Okay. Yeah. Actually, now I am coming back to this our session. Do you understand now the importance of the subject here? Yeah? Have you got the clarity now? Have you got the clarity now? So this subject starts with sensors first. This subject for newcomers, please try to understand. The subject starts with sensors. Okay, now you have to start with sensor somewhere you have to your journey has to start from sensor so in the sensors in your syllabus in the syllabus they have given some examples of piezoelectric sensor because it is most most suitable for mechanical people why because mechanical inputs are dynamic piezoelectric is given in the syllabus Hall effect is given in the syllabus and strain gauge is there in the syllabus. I told you in generally when you go to the grocery shop, when you go to the grocery shop, in the grocery shop, in the grocery shop, there is a surface like this. Am I right? There is a surface like this. The merchant is keeping pow kg, half kg, whatever the sugar or whatever the load here. And here you are watching on a seven segment display. On a seven segment display, you are watching the digits or not. And if you are understanding, you are watching the digits. Everybody knows this weight is a mechanical quantity. How it is converted to digital quantity? That means under our ek hai, that's definitely a sensor hoga which converts weight to electrical signal first. So the weight is converted to electrical, electrical signal is converted to digital signal. So that's what our strain gauge functionality, a beautiful topic, many questions came. Okay, my dear students, are you following or not? Are you following dear students? 
buffer following. Yeah. See here. After sensing, there is programming. This topic is new for you. This topic is entirely new for mechanical students. Maybe sensors, maybe you have come across somewhere in the topics like uh, strength of materials, in the topics like production. You may be talking about a load cell, cantilever beam, strain gauge, piezoelectric crystal. But the topic like programming, microprocessors, microprocessors and microcontrollers, microprocess, microcontrollers, microprocess, microcontrollers and PLCs. These are the three new topics. These are the three new topics. For example, I will give you Intel is the company related to microprocessor. Atmel or Philips is the company related to microcontroller. Siemens, Siemens is the company related to PLCs. So these are the advanced chapters. These advanced chapters they have kept, but no need to be panicked. In the exam, they are not asking in-depth programming. They are asking whether the mechanical student is having the basic knowledge of this microprocessor or microcontrollers or not. Dear students, after the programming is over, then comes except that means you are sensing something that sensing quantity is converted to electrical, then converted to digital. There should be some fellow, intelligent fellow who can compare this value. Who can compare this value? Acha, ye room temperature, standard temperature say kam hai or jada hai. Who compare karke ek action develop karna hai. Yes, first sense, then program, then actuate. Sachin, first sense, uske baad program, then actuate. Action comes last. Amara jinde ke bhi bhi hai sa hai na? Amara jinde ke bhi hai sa karte hai? Am pahile sense karte hai, then soch te hai, then action ke baare mein jate hai na? Are directly aap action shuruat nahi karte hai? First sense करते हैं, then सोचते हैं, programming करते हैं, then action करते हैं. Mechatronics is nothing but designing a system like a human being. In our human being, how the eyes are working, how the nose are working, how the brain are working, and how this hand is moving. Finally comes this combination. All will go to the next subject. The next subject is robotics. ये robotics के लिए ये sense programming actuator इस शुरुआत है, ये beginning है, ultimate journey ends at robotics. Robotics is a different branch. Robotics is a diversified branch which combines all engineering, all engineering including biomedical also. I think everybody knows the Sophia Robo. They could have seen the Sophia Robo. In the Sophia Robo, the Sophia Robo gestures are also it is able to give. And it is not like something is written already in the memory and uh, suppose if you ask Sachin, Sachin wears a beautiful t-shirt, uh, if Sachin wears a beautiful t-shirt then that particular Sophia robot has to tell something. It is not, not only like that, it is spontaneous. It is, it is spontaneous. The Sophia robo is spontaneous, it is nothing like programming. If it is seeing a blue t-shirt, hi handsome, how are you? Hi Sachin, how are you? Just like a human being is responding, the Sophia robot is also responding. It is the first humanoid robot, am I right or not? Sophia robot is a first humanoid robot or not? I think all of you come across this word. Sophia robot. The first humanoid robot. Am I right or not? Humanoid robot. Sure. So there many subjects are there. So that comes first programming. Then comes actuators. This now let us talk. Let us talk about the syllabus as the time is running. Dear students, this session is only just to give the guidance of the subject because many of the students they don't know what are the topics and they will leave the subject. But it is not that much tough. If you have proper analysis of the subject, easily you can handle. So after sensors are over, programming is over, finally comes actuator. In the syllabus, you are having Pneumatic, hydraulic actuators, electric actuators. Actuator will actually perform the action. So to understand that action, you should have some control system concept also. Control system concepts. If you take a system, what is this control system? What is this control system? Every system is having some input X and output Y. 
the relation between the system output y and system input x can be described by some mathematics so here comes mathematics dekho kitna subjects aa gaya mathematics aaya sensors aaya programming aaya actuators aaya control systems aaya then comes finally hamara robotics aata hai what if syllabus it is what is syllabus it is after the completion of all these robotics aata hai actually in our syllabus in your syllabus there is not much connectivity between the mechatronics and robotics practically speaking ha ah, lekin zyada sochna mat ye subject basic level mein hai for example for example let us see one question recent question let us see let us see this question this question usually we discussed this question we usually discuss it is a direct formula based question rohit ji abhishek chavan it is a direct abhishek chavan maza aaya yeah it's got citizenship too. very good many beautiful meta uh, many systems we can design yaar aapka future engineers kaisa hai you can design many systems aap jo kuch mechanical mein padhaya jo kuch aapne stress analysis padhaya even the flow also i think you could have studied just just before going for this question let me explain let me explain one real time example here let's say i think everybody has studied everybody has studied venturi meter yes, sir you could have studied venturi meter or not so venturi meter kitna complex device hai everybody knows venturi meter kitna complex device hai everybody knows so we have to insert yes, sir not so we have to insert that device just for idea i am giving don't take it as a final diagram then you have to find out your q formula to do the flow rate across this particular obstruction you have to find out a lot of mathematics is there cd m a 2 square root of 2 delta p by rho am i right or not plus 2 g z1 minus z2 ye bada bada formulas hai are industry mein ye kaisa chalega abhi industry pura automation ho jayega abhi electronics aa gaye भैया इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फ्लोमीटर बोल के एक फ्लोमीटर आया मेकाट्रोनिक्स देखो कैसा हो रहा है टुडे इन द मॉर्निंग क्लास ओनली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हॉल इफेक्ट माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द मॉर्निंग क्लास ओनली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हॉल इफेक्ट दिस इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ हॉल इफेक्ट इफ यू टेक ए पर्टिकुलर पाइप इफ यू टेक अ पर्टिकुलर पाइप इन दिस पाइप इफ ए चार्ज्ड फ्लूइड इज ट्रैवलिंग If a conductive fluid is traveling, there is a solution. Conductive fluid is traveling like this. Now, if I am keeping a magnetic field here, if I am keeping a magnetic field here, what is this? This is a magnetic field. This is under a magnetic field. So now, what happens? The charged fluid, basic physics, everybody knows. When a charged particle enters into the magnetic field, there is a deflection or not? There is a deflection. now it crosses that magnetic field and it travels so if you keep some two copper electrodes here two copper electrodes here you are going to get potential this potential is proportional to flow rate this potential is proportional to flow rate my dear students if you know the flow rate if you know the flow rate you can find out the quantity rate quantity rate is nothing but area into velocity which is your meter cube per second am i right or not am i right or not now do you understand the conventional mechanics methods conventional mechanical method ko ye extension bhi hona hai na industry mein humko extension bhi hona hai otherwise everywhere you cannot suggest the venturi meter or not there should be some extension there should be some extension beta abhi samajh mein aapko link samajh mein aapko link samajh mein aapko can anybody can anybody answer from there from your end the yeah, discharge yes amount of discharge all of you following beta now just i am giving the guidance of the subject okay now all of you following yes now let us start a simple question a last 2018 ka question pucha hai for a strain gauge gauge factor is 2.1 resistance is 50 ohms subject to a maximum strain of 0.001 the maximum change in resistance is dash this question was asked in ies 2008 beta simply speaking just in one word i will tell you 
Strain gauge is a sensor. Strain gauge is a device which converts mechanical strain to electrical strain. Mechanical strain to electrical. Mechatronics बोला ना मैंने. Subject is mechatronics. It converts mechanical strain to electrical strain. So the ratio between this electrical strain to mechanical strain, the ratio between this electrical strain to mechanical strain is called gauge factor. Is called gauge factor. Simple concept पर question पूछा. Simple concept पर question पूछा. He has already given the strain, mechanical strain. He has given now how much? Zero point zero zero one. Are you able to see this? So mechanical strain is given. And electrical strain बोलो तो क्या है? Del R by R change in resistance. So the formula based equations Del R by R by Del L by L. So I'm not talking about the answering the question. Just I'm giving you the guidance. What type of questions are coming from the subject? So it's not entering to the depth. It's sensor, it's input and output. It's a mathematical relation bus. And it's not going beyond the syllabus. जो कुछ syllabus में दिया है सिलेबस में स्ट्रेस फीजोरेक्ट्रिक दिया है ही इज आस्किंग दट ओनली इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी ऑन द सिलेबस गेटिंग माई पॉइंट नेक्स्ट हियर देर इज वन मोर बिट देर इज वन मोर बिट दिस इज ऑन माइक्रो कंट्रोल दिस इज ऑन माइक्रो कंट्रोल सो आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज अ कंप्लीटली न्यू चैप्टर सो ही इज आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन विच इज रिलेटेड टू इट्स वर्किंग इज नॉट आस्किंग एनी डेप्थ क्वेश्चन What is micro control? Simply, I told in the last. Uh, I think many of the students have come across these words. Micro processor. Micro processor means CPU on a chip. CPU on a chip. But micro processor cannot do anything on its own. Micro processor cannot do anything on its own. Micro processor needs. Micro processor needs memory. A chip cannot do anything on its own. It requires a memory. It requires an input-output. When microprocessor is connected with wires to external, then that is called microcomputer. Microcomputer. When this entire microcomputer is fabricated on a single chip, in a single chip cell, in a single chip itself, there is a microprocessor. Here itself. There is a memory RAM, and here itself I/O, and some extra extra features. Then, when a micro computer is embedded, when a micro computer chip, when a micro computer is embedded on a single chip, then that is called micro controller. For easy people, it is a very easy bit. For electronics communication, it is a very easy bit. But here, for mechanical people, it is a little important. So when you are choosing the microcontroller, you should talk about its memory. You should talk about its speed of accessing, and short talk about number of input outputs. So answer is option D better. So in the lectures, if you just go through what is microprocessor, what is microcontroller, what is PLC, what is sensor, what type of sensors, ये sensor का input क्या है, output क्या है, बस you can easily score the prelims paper. चलो, next um let us see the conventional question. Let us see the conventional question. In conventional question, what pocha? This was a conventional question. This is a conventional type question. In conventional also, we got a good weightage. I saw it now. Seventy-two marks we got. Seventy-two marks me. Thirty-two marks. Thirty-two marks came from robotics. Forty marks came from sensor from mechatronics. So this is the weightage. In conventional paper. In conventional paper, thirty-two marks came from robotics, and forty marks came from mechatronics. These are the direct questions. Define a sensor. Describe the following performance related to the sensor. These are the characteristics of sensor. Accuracy बोलो तो क्या है? Sensitivity बोलो तो क्या है? Hysteresis error बोलो तो क्या है? Non-linearity error बोलो तो क्या है? Resolution बोलो तो क्या है? So these are some conventional topics. Elaborately, sensor का definition. Which converts non-electrical to electrical, and their characteristics. Simple. Are you understanding? Are you getting my point, dear students? I am not discussing the total subject here. Just I am giving the guidance. 
Similarly, in the latest papers, he asked a question. Here, this is one more question. This was the latest question. This was, I think, was asked in 2019. This was asked in 2019. 2019, describe with neat sketches the working principle of Hall effect sensor and LVDT sensor. Hall effect sensor, I think, some people have some idea about Hall effect sensor. All of you understood, dear students. Dear students, all of you are following. Yeah. So now, how do you feel about this subject? How do you feel about this subject? Interesting or not? Interesting or not? You can share your comment over there. Direct questions, no depth. Direct questions. It is just like explain, explain something. No depth. Actually, on an academy, I am dealing with this subject. So myself, again, I am back. Having an experience of the training so many students on an academy, I am teaching this subject. Already the course has started. Course has started. So the students, you can motivate your friend circle. The students who are here on YouTube, you can inform to your friend circle. Those who are preparing for IES, there is no need to be panic about this subject. There is no need to be panic about this subject. In the next coming sessions, we'll plan a session on robotics too. Okay, now, abhi to mechatronics chal rahe hai. Abhi mechatronics hone ke baad, soon we'll plan for robotics too. Okay, now, dear students, on our academy, if anybody is planning for a subscription, they can use my code. So this is my code. So I think all of you know um, the facilities of an academy. On an academy, various lectures are available. You can watch them as live. By mistake, if you miss them, you can watch the recorded sessions also. So, dear students, for GATE and IES, there is a subscription offer. So for one year, the fee structure is 22,500 after getting the discount for two years actually this is 30,000 30,000 if you use the code you are going to get 27,000 so there is a 10 percent discount so you can take this code bsk10 and you can initiate to your friend circuit if any of them are interested they can contact me okay sir experience the great experience dear students i'm winding up the session on an academy, every day morning, sorry, on an academy, every day morning, every day morning, after the completion of breakfast and tea, directly early morning, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on an academy plus, on an academy plus, already this mechatronics course was launched okay so this mechatronics course was launched and it is running successfully so many students are joining okay so you can join and you can learn the new things i'm damn sure that everybody's who are joining this course they're going to be they're going to be satisfied okay and and you can see you can see such type of images such type of symbols, such type of diagram, such type of animation, so many in my classroom. Okay, so let us all meet in an academy plus. Okay, now I'm closing this session. Thanks for joining all of you. I hope some of the new students, some of the old students, they got some idea about this subject. Overall, our subject kya hai? Spa hai. Spa. Sense, program, Actuate. Sets karo, program karo, action kodi kodi. Okay, enough for today. Enough for today. I am closing the session. Any students, if anybody is having the doubts, they can ask me. Anybody, anybody is having the doubts, they can post there.
राजवी कुमार रंजन सुमा चैत्रा इंदिरा भाटी अभिषेक चौहान ओके ओके देन आई एम क्लोजिंग द सेशन Thank you. thanks for joining good night okay now can everybody some comments there yeah thank you thank you varun you can initiate your friend circle you can inform your friends and you can post in your social media also for this thank you very much